Awesome. Thank you for joining. This is Grace with You Deserve Grace, the personal financial platform dedicated to helping you find your rich, whether you're single or you're married. I just want to talk about guilt a little bit. Um, I, I need to focus on, on two things about it. The biggest thing is just the mindset reframe. It's so easy. Um, and this is a funny one. This doesn't matter how much you make. As long as your money mindset and you're framing around your money, this is a matter of if you have ten dollars or ten million, it's going to feel the same. And so we need to overcome this feeling um, within us. And 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 it's part of why it's hard for people to retire as well is because of our identity, this I am stuff. Um, it's easy to feel overwhelmed when it comes to making decisions as we're approaching decision making because a lot of times we, we think about ourselves our identity is so entrenched and so attached and so when you're dealing with negative emotions attached to something um you, you can definitely start to go down that shame spiral where where small decisions lead to self-loathing um embarrassment unworthiness like you actually can get to that point where where you feel guilty in your spending or you do spending that will make you feel guilty. So sometimes when we have a lot and you've been blessed with a lot, you feel like, you know, depending on how your inner child grew up, you may feel undeserving of that, right? Or you may feel like this absolute obligation, um, and let's talk about our multimillionaires. You know, when they did the, um, the the pledge to give away their money, right? Jeff Bezos was like, no, I don't want to do that. He refused to join the group. <laughs> and and I feel like he, he was willing to live by his thoughts and his opinions and his mindset and 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 that takes courage because it doesn't matter what financial group you're in there's always going to be a certain level of um of wanting to fit in of expectation i should say that comes with that level of income a lot of times you talk about doctors and lawyers and how they they struggle um not necessarily buying the house they, they want to but buying the house that's expected of them right and so they may end up with a lot of student loan debt and then on top of that a lot of debt and opening up their own practice and then the debt with buying a bigger property so they're not necessarily always able to make the decisions that they would want to because we go back again to this identity this definition this i am um and so it's not just you know the kid coming straight out of high school gets a job and they're feeling like they they need to to provide, right? They need to do something with their money. And, you know, they're buying that first car, maybe on credit. And all of a sudden they're starting, you know, like it's a spiral of decisions when we make them, um, where we may turn around and look and say, oh, I'm not sure I agree with my own decision. And then we start feeling bad about ourselves, right? And money is such a personal thing that even when you're married, you may be sitting there in a relationship with someone who has different money attitudes and who has different feelings towards the money that you've accumulated or may have no feelings towards your money um, because you're not discussing it or you are discussing it, but you're discussing it from your frame of reference, right? And and that, that guilt, you know, could be maybe felt on their part and maybe you're the one feeling it. So lots of money... Um, feelings that could be attached to negativity that we just have to work on detaching. And the other one is, even if we don't, you know, one day wake up and all of a sudden have learned that ability to detach, what you could still do is learn to reframe every day. Whenever you're thinking about money, think about it as an it, think about it as a tool, think about it as an object, not as you. You are not your money problems. You didn't help the money get there. Um, you know, you, you definitely participated in the decision making that maybe doesn't reflect who you are. But every day you do something well, 
whether you acknowledge it or not. And this is what I'm talking about, just reframing that, you know, extending yourself that grace to start a new day and to make different decisions every day. That's what just needs to happen. So you need to aid third party that money. It's a tool, it's a means, and you need to tell it what you want it to do, right? So by replacing that, you're moving the burden from from yourself as a, you know, I belong to this group of people with this type of money and therefore I need to do this. You're, you're now letting the money know that I earn this money. I found a ways to generate this money and I will make those decisions that reflect who I am when I want to and how I want to. And each day you can make small steps because it's understanding that mm, this is a tough situation or this situation doesn't feel good, I need to develop a plan. And being able to step out, just to be able to say that and to see that, that's an amazing first step. And that in itself, you need to give yourself, you know, praise and really just acknowledge yourself um, in the most positive of ways and saying that, look, I'm moving towards these nice small wins. And it's these wins that are going to get me my hope back. And as you pile on those small wins and those small steps towards the right direction that you want to get to, that's when you're going to start rediscovering yourself and really walking in that grace and extending it to yourself and extending it to others. And even think about that when you're having money conversations with your spouse. Are you putting too much on them that they are like that rather than this is how they're currently using money as a tool? For more individualized advice, reach out www.deservegrace.com. Uh, follow us on YouTube right here at Deserve Grace. Make sure you subscribe uh, to our channel. More content coming. Check out the website. Thanks for your time today. And don't forget to extend that same grace to others. Thank you.